Hi, I'm Jim, I'm with Thrifting and Collecting, and today we are going to make a metal detecting video. So here we have the Bounty Hunter Jr. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to have it set so that the power is all the way up. And we're going to keep the eliminator as close to battery test as we can. That way we can pick up some zinc coins and we're making sure that we're not missing anything. So um, if you have an area that's not real trashy, um, you can keep the eliminator on to help uh, you know pick out some things but we, I like to keep it off just because um, sometimes you have to clear out some of the objects that are on the ground around the coins to make it easier to find them. In addition there's the extension here on the end which can shorten and lengthen the uh, pole and the disc has its own adjustment so you can help keep it flatter toward in the coil towards the ground. Digging this hole, found a piece of wire and an old shotgun shell. Let's see what it is. Bottle cap that says Big Mouth. Pull by a picking table. There's barbed wire. Dig in this hole. Finally found a coin. It's a Jefferson nickel, but it's not that old. It's uh, 1999. We have a signal. Nineteen thirty-eight. Good deal. I am digging in the woods. I found a small pocket knife. Don't know how old it is, I'll have to get it cleaned up. But pretty sweet. Third uh, pocket knife I have found recently. So, very excited about that. Well, I got it cleaned up. Um, it's in terrible shape, but I believe this is an old timer junior. They were made from uh, 1963 to 2004 when old timer closed his doors, and then after 2004 they started reproducing it. So, um, yeah, like I said, pretty cool. Um, the blades, unfortunately, are really corroded. So there's just no way that this thing's ever gonna open again. But, still, pretty cool find in the woods. So if you guys know more about it, uh, feel free to drop a comment in there. Didn't have to dig very much, but uh, I found this uh, golf club head. It's relatively new, it's a hybrid club. But cool. In the woods, by a sitting spot. It's a shield back, but it's a penny. Still digging in the same area. Found a 1979 penny, and I think the end of another pocket knife, but it looks like the rest of it is just a uh, got separated from it and deteriorated so very cool seems to be a lot of pennies in this area this one's uh, relatively new it's a 2019 definitely a penny spill in this area this one's a 2017 and you got some worms still digging up this penny coin spill this one's a 2014 you know um, I'm not even mad that these are new coins because honestly it's nice to actually dig coins for once. I'm usually digging uh, nails or pop tabs, so awesome. Another dig, another penny, 1992D. Same vicinity, found a nickel. 
it's relatively new too. I believe that's 1995 D. Found another one, 1995. 1981. 2004. 2013 P. 1995 D. Surface fine, this one we can actually see. something. Alright, this one I can actually reveal on camera. And of course it's a shield back. Out of 2005. Had to clean it off, but it's a 1995 D. Yet another shield back. 2013 D. We're still in the woods away from the point spill area. We found something a bit unusual. It's a set of tweezers. Big old nail. Another nail. In this area where we found a whole bunch of nails, there's a 1977 quarter. So we might be onto something. Found a penny, 1969D. Well, I have dug all over this whole area. I found a lot of nails. So too many for it to be off a uh, piece of furniture or something. I think it is from a floor that maybe that used to be here. Maybe there's a cabin here at some point. But the only coins I found was a 1977 quarter and a 1969 penny. So we shall see. Maybe there's some good stuff here. I just haven't found it yet. Well, I found something I didn't expect to find in this area. It looks like uh, nails from a nail gun. So if there was something built here, or that this was maybe construction garbage or something, it's not that old. Well, for all these nails I found in the same area, plus the uh, second uh, nails for a nail gun, I'm starting to think that this is construction garbage and not a cabin. Oh well. Well, I'm digging in the same area with all the nails, and I am definitely saying that this is not that old an area. Um, must be 1970s. This is a uh, 1976 uh, Drummer Boy quarter, which is cool. I'm glad I found it. But uh, definitely I'm not expecting to have any uh, older 1800s coins in this area now that I found uh, these uh, few six, late 60s, 70s coins and all these uh, nails and the nail gun thing. So in addition to finding treasure, we also found a ton of trash. Now this isn't just from this video, but my previous one as well. Um, but just a reminder of some of the stuff you're going to find while you're metal detecting, especially if you have it set so that the uh, sensitivity is very high. Bottle caps. Old style pop tabs. Foil. Just general trash. Nails and screws. Barbed wire. Aluminum cans and shreds scrap metal, and new style pop tabs, which uh, these I'm actually going to uh, give away because people uh, collect them, and uh, this is also going to be part of another video I'll be making. All right, everyone, well, it's time for a wrap-up. Um, during the video, I found a whole bunch of pennies, most of them in the same place. Um, most of them are modern, but um, there was a few copper ones there, but no wheat pennies. Uh, in the beachy area, I did find a uh, wheat penny. Um, I found two nickels that were modern nickels and um, one 1977 quarter and one 1976 bicentennial quarter. I also found a uh, set of tweezers, I think the end of a pocket knife, and a old timer junior. Uh, in rough shape, but still cool nonetheless. So, well thanks everybody for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you do, please hit that like button and subscribe as it would help me out a lot. And hopefully we'll get some more videos out to you. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good one.